Hello folks, PK here. Welcome to another episode and today I'm going to be catching kokanee salmon. It is a beautiful April day here in Oregon. We're going to catch his kokanee and then we're going to cook them up at the end. Enjoy the show folks. Ooh. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's a fish. See, when I, when I, uh, slow down. slowed and give it action, ooh, I think there's another one too. No, I got the line. No, it's a little one. Or nothing. Oh, is that a fish? Yeah, it's a fish. Yeah, it's, it's a little one. This one will be. Oh, number. Don't know what number. I'm gonna keep them. Nice. Yeah. Right, I'm gonna go deeper with this one. Ooh, ooh, there's a fish. There's a fish. There we go. There we go. Yep. Pull off. There we go. Yep, there's a fish. There's a fish. Come on. Ooh, he got another one. Yeah. See, I dropped it down to about 70 feet and he took it. Okay, I'm slowing down the boat. Yep, there's another one. Right over there, guys. See that? That's a nice kokanee. No, that's a trout. That's a trout. You didn't want to hook him anyway, did you? Yeah, I didn't want a trout anyways. Ooh, there's a hit. There's a fish. There's a fish. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. There we go, guys. Fish number two. Fish number two. I'm gonna slow down. The last one was a trout. That don't count. I'm not here for stock trout. I'm here for a 20 pound kokanee which does not exist in this lake. Yeah, oh, look at that fight. Come on, baby, do not come off. <laughs> look at how he's twist and turn like that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Don't surface. Oh my, that's a big one. Yeah, another big one. See how they twist and turn or wrap the line around themselves? That's a fatty right there, guys. Can I get the wonker? Oh, yeah. Just put on, just when you put it on, when you tie it, um, I would do a double uni. When you, uh, before you reel in, reset your counter, it's going to go to zero, and then it'll go backwards, so just go to like 700, or even 600, and just call it good. Ooh, there's a fish. There's a fish. Yeah, there we go. There we go. That's a good one. Feels pretty good. Feels pretty good, buddy. Turn the motor off. Turn the motor off. 
This is this one was the furthest. It was about a foot back. What are you? Boy, man, another super nice day out here. Really, really nice. Yeah, he's a good one. He's a good one. Yep. Oh, nice one. Yeah. There it is. Lots of ducks following us today. This Look green. <laughs> okay. Sorry, I got no bread. I'll bring it next time, okay, buddy? All right, look what decided to follow us. Canadian geese. He is expecting us to throw him some food, but we have no food. Sorry, buddy. Didn't bring any bread for you. Poor YouTube fisherman. <laughs> Don't get tangled my line, okay, buddy? Sorry, buddy, no bread. Hey, I'll bring bread next time, okay? Come back here next week, same time, okay? Bring your buddies. Bring, br bring your buddies. Got him? Nice. So he got it while you were reeling up? Yep. Nice. At uh, 70 feet. Ooh, I got fish on too. Nice. We hit the school. Yep, we did hit a school. Sweet. We got a double, guys. Lynn's got one on as he was reeling up. Sweet. Waiting for this third rod to get on, but it's not getting on. Oh yeah. Nice, nice. Yep, at my favorite spot. I see yours. See that flash down there, guys? Yeah, he's fighting good. That's a nice one. Oh yeah. Wait, is that a trout? No, that's coconut. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Boy, this one is not giving up. <sighs> Just don't. Okay, guys, we're gonna set up this small Coleman stove and we're gonna cook some coconut. To fillet these kokanee, it's pretty simple. Just cut behind the gill and run your knife down to the tail. Now flip to the other side and do the same thing. Run your knife behind the gill and straight down to the tail. Okay guys, I have a kokanee filet here. Um, now I'm just going to marinate it with a Cajun seasoning. Add a little bit on there. Just like that.
baby. Yep, it is on. <laughs> this Coleman stove I was using is called a uh, Coleman Power Pack propane stove. And it's pretty cool because it sits re really low to the ground. So it's not as tipsy. And you can use up to a 12 inch pan. And the power output is about 7,500 BTUs. Okay guys, I didn't time it, but I think it's been about 10 minutes, so we're going to check out the filet right now. Wow. Just look at that, okay? That's definitely done. Um, these filets are pretty small, so it doesn't take much. Whew. That looks delish. One for you, Lynn. One for me. Now some people don't like the skin, but it's actually my favorite part of a fish. The skin is very delicious. That was all the flavor, the fat. Yeah. Oh. Wow. It's really mellow flavor too. I love that wood chip. Cherry wood. Mm -hmm. Nice and mellow. Should have sprayed the aluminum foil, but there it is. Smoked kokanee. Freshly caught five minutes ago. Took that here in a little portable smoker in the middle of a lake. It does not get better than that, guys. Mmm. You can't beat the flavor of it. Yeah. Awesome flavor. That's what I used to do it when I was a kid, catch trout, take willow limbs, weave them together to make a grill, start a fire and cook them right on the grill right out there while I was fishing. Yep. See, gotta take the tag off. Alright guys. Oh. I didn't spray it with the non-stick so the skin is stuck to the foil. Gotta peel that off. Helps crisp it up though. <laughs> mm. Yeah. That Cajun seasoning has just enough heat. Yep. Alright guys. Thanks for watching. Have fun fishing, and I will see you next time. Tight lines.